but this infographic probably took me two years of my life to, to come up with. I can see the whole wide world with these two eyes. And I can be whoever I want to be, because it's my life. So what we have is we, we've developed what we call, uh, these are pipeline initiatives, and these are what we call foundational marketing initiatives. And we've gone through and we've done the research on this. It, it, this is kind of exhaustive research on, you know, not just you know, kind of what goes into my day and what's gone into my day for the last, you know, decade or so is I'm up at 5 a.m. every morning and I, I get about three hours of research in before I start my day at 8. And I've been doing that for a decade. So, um, and a lot of it is once I found people who were doing this really good in the world, I flew out to meet them to see what they were doing. So, um, I, I boil it down to the most simple infographic. But this infographic probably took me two years of my life to, to come up with you know, what it was going to look like. Um, and where we start is, you know, where a lot of people start is they start here. They start, you know, I have a small firm. I must need a website. I need SEO and a website. How many of you here own a firm? Own a firm. And how many of you are here that maybe want to own a firm someday? Okay. Everybody who owns the firm already has the firm. Got it. Okay. And those of you who didn't put up your hands, you know, do you work for other firms? Is that what's the? Well, I'm trying to get a read in the room. You work for other firms. Are any of you? Can any of you influence the marketing in that firm at all? Or are you guys completely? You guys have some influence on what that marketing is. Okay. How many of you, when you started your own firm, went to a website first? Yeah. When you search for and, and what areas of law are people in? You guys can just shout them out. Who do we have? Family, family, family. Family. family, a bunch of families, some wills and estates, real estate. okay. some real estate. So we're, we're all over the map, right? Is anybody when they're searching family law? If I do a search for family law, am I going to find anybody in this room on page one? No one else. Okay, what? we're not going to find. And how? What was the ranges that you paid for your website? Some of you probably did it for free. Some of you probably don't want to tell us how much you spent. That's okay. Um, but you, you thought you were going to do a website. And that website, have you ever tried to track back and see where your website is? What page are you on? Two. Two? Well, not bad. That's pretty good. Yeah. For what term? For what term? Yeah. No, like what, what oh, search, search term? term? Yeah. Oh, um, that's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Uh, municipal collaboration. Yeah, I mean, that would be, yeah. yeah. They're not the meaty ones like family law no. or. Yeah. I know. We're, we're not competing with the world. <laughs> no, those are, those are you went. The, the threshold is a little bit, but I, I can teach you guys how to win the term family law, like in Edmonton, like you could do it 100%. You might not like what I have to tell you that, you know, needs to be done because it's not easy, but you can win it. But the point is, is that a lot of people, when they're going to start their business, they're going to start marketing initiatives, they're going to start right here, SEO and website, and they're going to do it somewhere between free, or they're going to pay 2,500 bucks, or five grand, or 10 grand, and it's like, anyone ever heard that, you know, if a tree falls in the woods and no one's there to... To see it, did it really happen? That's kind of like you know what it's like being on page eight of Google or page five of Google. Um, maybe another one that I've heard on it is: Do you guys know where the best place to hide a body is? Mm -hmm. It's page two of Google. No one's going to find it. So <laughs> you want to bury a body? Page two of Google. No one will find it. Um, so most people start here, but where they really should start is Google My Business. Okay. So Google Places, and I'm, I'm going to show you some real world examples about that, but you guys have ever seen like Google reviews? Have you guys ever seen Google reviews for, the, for, for companies that you shopped at before, before you've gone to them? The stat on this is like overwhelmingly, it is 88% of your ideal and likely buyers are going to look at your Google reviews before they decide to use you or not. And that stat does not differ if it's a direct referral. So even if you get a direct referral, 88% of those people are going to check you out on Google before they decide to do business with you. Now that doesn't mean necessarily they won't do business with you if you got a, you know, a three-star rating or something like that. It just means it's decreasing your chances. 88% of them have now seen, that's their first impression of you, is that Google star rating. Both the rating and the number of ratings. So most businesses, rather than spend 5,000 bucks or 10,000 bucks, would actually do better with no website and more reviews, if they just have a number. So you know, imagine a lawyer who, just think about this for a second, 
if you're someone, you're your ideal and likely buyer and they're searching for a lawyer and you have a website, well everybody has a website, but how many family lawyers in Edmonton have more than 40 reviews? How many have more than 100 reviews? Do you think it's your website that's going to convert them or do you think it's the reviews that are going to convert them? And as I say, as I say that now, um, some of you will own up to it now and some of you will own up to it later because you spent money on websites, that it's probably the reviews that are going to convert those clients. It's not going to be the website. So 88% it is your Google reviews. Um, makes sense so far? We're going to show a... Let's, let's do one. Let's see what happens here. Someone once told me to never do live searches and presentations. I do them all the time. You never know what's going to happen. So ECLC, family court assistance. Let's see who. ECLC nailing it. <laughs> and then we have long family law. So that, that family law firm, that's a government type deal, right? That's sweet. No, okay. no, that's a private. So ECLC, yes, is. Oh, ECLC, yes. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm, 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 not they're, they're very difficult to outrank those governing bodies or some sort of you know, government tie because they have big um, um, Google views them as, as authorities. Uh, so it's, it's not impossible. It, and I'm going to show you that later on. Uh, but it's difficult. But really, I mean, look at Long Family Law, they're killing it, page one, right? The difference between here and here, I don't know if you. you you don't want to spend too much time on, on getting there. It's getting to page one for your search term that you should really uh, be concerned about. But then we go to the Google Places on what we're talking about here. Um, so when you look at this, uh, you guys understand everyone up here, they've paid for these ads. Okay, so anyone here has paid for these ads. Uh, and so that result is going to be kind of random depending on where they are in their budget. Um, and then we have um, the Google Places. So this is the Google My Business or Google Places. If you hear those terms, they're kind of used interchangeably. So you have to register that. Is everyone here registered for that? Does anyone know not know how to do that? I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't know. Great. So all you're going to have to do is, if you're not registered for that, is... Uh, well, could you follow them again? So there's Google Places. Google Places or Google My Business. business okay. Yeah. So right here, it'll just walk you through it. So if you Google that, you'll, you'll, get up, you'll get up to speed on it. They'll likely send you a postcard. So they'll send you a postcard with a, basically a code on it so you can't kind of set up a, a fictitious address. Um, so that's kind of step one. You'll, you'll go through that process. They're going to kind of half set you up. They'll send you a code. You get that postcard in the mail. You go back to Google. You enter that back in. You're set up. But then you got to ask for reviews. You have to ask for reviews. Um, it, like I said, 88% of your ideal and likely buyers are going to look at the reviews, and not just the review. I don't think people expect perfection, that's not it, but I would suggest more than 4.5, which is difficult as a lawyer. Some oh, yeah. industries are more are, 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 uh, easier than others. So that is difficult as a lawyer to receive that. It's like a, I have some clients that are in insurance too, that's difficult as well because people are happy when you tell them no, it's not covered. Um, some businesses are a little, you know, if you're a dog walker, that's it, usually it's pretty, it's, it's a little easier. People are, are happy about that sort of service. Um, but as a lawyer or an insurance person, uh, that can be challenging. So um, when it comes to getting Google reviews, what you want to do is, you know, you want to assess when you have the positive interactions with your clients. Because not every one of them is going to be positive. It's like me, when I give them their, you know, when they made a whole bunch of money or they failed to make their installments that I recommended and they owe a whole bunch of money, that's probably not the time I'm going to ask for the Google review. I'm going to ask for the Google review after a positive interaction. But you're going to have to ask and you're going to have to follow up. If your strategy revolves around asking once, you're not going to get a lot of reviews. You need to ask, you need to follow up, you need to follow up again. Um, so there's... There's some programs out there that can automatically ask for the Google review. 
they, in my experience, they are a good supplement, but they are not a replacement for asking. I've had clients who they will just, you know, buy the program, they'll send the automatic remote, and they're not very successful. Um, so you can do it without that. The other uh, way to do it is you offer something of value for uh, little or no cost. That's a good way too. Um, so that person who can't afford you and they come into your office, this happens. You know, people come into my office sometimes, I know for sure, I don't want them as a client. Or sometimes I know I can solve their problem in the next 60 minutes and they will never need me again. And a lot of accountants will turn them away. I'm going to solve their problem in the next 60 minutes, but the sole purpose is that I want a Google review. That's the only thing I'm doing. I, I, I want that Google review. Uh, so if you can offer it at a reduced uh, you know, value or as little or no value, trust me, that Google review is something, you, you can pay a ton of money for AdWords, or you can get Google reviews that you're probably just gonna have to invest time in. That's the way to go.